in a car lived in a forest, with a river, and a great green canopy of trees. The river had a falls, and rapids, where the unicorn loved to stay. The sound of the rushing water in the falls and the rapids was a language that the unicorn understood. It told of things that were, and would be, when those rare nights came when the moon hung low, and blazed with a yellow-orange light. The river falls and river rapids spoke most clearly to the unicorn. They told of the coming of man, and the destruction of everything. The unicorn glimpsed the vast slabs of concrete that would cover the land at its feet. The river now nowhere to be seen. No trees, except in pots. No dirt, except for purchase. Flat, paved grayness, with white lines painted on it like a grid. And the unicorn wept. Everything had been taken, removed, ended, replaced with nothing. A striped emptiness, as far as the eye could see. What could the unicorn do? In the face of such dire fate, there were two plants in the forest, which had remarkable properties. One was a vine-like plant whose flowers were hot, and the other a blood-producing plant of cannabis. When the first man came, the unicorn showed them how to combine the hops flowers with barley malt to make beer. Also how to grow the cannabis buds, which were to be smoked. As more of mankind came, the destruction increased. But with the destruction there also arose the perfecting of beer brewing and cannabis cultivating. Now there is a great race to see if the unbridled destructiveness of mankind can be reined in by the powers of beer and cannabis. The unicorn thought so, on a night of the yellow-orange moon, by the babbling falls and rapids, shortly before the forest was destroyed, the unicorn talked up with some of the best green gold body could find. The vapor trails from the smoke filled the sky and drifted across the moon, and the unicorn realized that it was too important to the planet for him to die, so he didn't, and he's still around today. Sneaking into the hops fields and cannabis patches by the light of the moon. To tweak the genes of those plants. To make them better. So they will prevent the destruction of everything by mankind.